Hello mathematicians. Today we're going to be using two coordinates to find slope and then from that we're going to be writing a linear equation in slope intercept form. So here I have the slope formula. Now we know that in math slope is represented by the variable m and slope is our rise over run so we want to know our rate of change. So in order to do so we have to take two coordinates and see how much the y changes by and the x changes by. So here I have m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 and our y sub 2 is our second y coordinate and we're subtracting by our first y coordinate because we want to see that change. So we want to know the change in y to find out our rise. And then here I have x sub 2 minus x sub 1 which is the change in our x values. So here we have our first coordinate and here we have our second coordinate and make sure you line them up because if we don't we're not going to get the right change. So here's an example and I have two coordinates here and we're going to take the slope formula to help us find our slope. So before I even do that, I'm going to label my coordinates. So here I have 1, negative 4. I'm going to label it x sub 1 because that's my first x coordinate. y sub 1 because that's my first y coordinate. x sub 2 because that's my second x coordinate. And y sub 2 because that's my second y coordinate. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take these values and substitute them in so I could find my slope. So m equals y sub 2, which is 8, minus y sub 1, which is negative 4 in this case, divided by x sub 2, which is 5, minus x sub 1, which is 1. So 8 minus negative 4 is the same thing as 8 plus 4 divided by 5 minus 1, which I'll just rewrite it as 4. So 8 plus 4 is 12, divided by 4 is equal to 3. So our slope is 3, so m equals 3. So now that we have our slope, we could actually go back and see what our y-intercept is. So y equals, and now we know it's 3x plus b because we don't know what our y-intercept is. And then we could just pick a coordinate. And I'll just pick the first coordinate in this case. So we have um, our y value is negative 4 and our x value is 1. So negative 4 is equal to 3 times 1 because that's our x value plus b. So negative 4 is equal to 3 plus b. And if we subtract by 3, we have b is equal to negative 7. So this is our y-intercept. So we know our slope is 3 and our y-intercept is negative 7. So y equals 3x minus 7. And this would be our linear equation in slope-intercept form. So here we have another coordinate, and we're going to do the same thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label our coordinates so that it makes it a little bit easier. So negative 20 is x sub 1, 17 is y sub 1, because that's our first x and our first y, and then negative 12 is x sub 2, 11 is y sub 2, and then all we have to do is substitute now. So y sub 2 is 11, so 11 minus 17 because that's y, y sub 1 
over, now I have um, negative 12 minus negative 20. So 11 minus 17 is negative 6. And then here I have negative 12 plus 20. And so I have negative 6. And then negative 12 plus 20, the signs are different. So we subtract and we keep the sign of the number with the biggest absolute value. So 20 minus 12 is 8. And the number with the biggest absolute value is positive. So it's positive 8. And then we could simplify this fraction because both 6 and 8 are divisible by 2. So our slope in this case is negative 3 over 4. And now we could go back and figure out what our y-intercept is so we could write this in slope-intercept form. So we know that y equals negative 3 over 4x plus b. And again, I'm just going to pick my first coordinate. And so instead of y, I'm going to substitute that in with 17 is equal to negative 3 over 4 times negative 20 plus b. So here, if it makes it easier, we could actually write this as negative 20 over 1. So 17 is equal to negative 3 over 4 times negative 20 over 1. So negative 3 times negative 20 is positive 60 over 4 plus b. And 60 over 4 is equal to 15 plus b. So we'll have to subtract by 15 on both sides. So b is actually equal to 2. And if we go back up, we know our m is negative 3 over 4, and our b is 2. So y equals negative 3 over 4x plus 2 because that's a positive 2. And that's it. All right, so here we have another coordinate, and we're going to do the same thing. So first thing is label our coordinates. So we have here x sub 1, y sub 1, because that's our first x and our first y, x sub 2, and y sub 2. So here all we're going to do is substitute again. And so we have 5 minus 5 divided by 8 minus 3. So 5 minus 5 is 0. 8 minus 3 is 5. 0, zero divided by 5 is just 0. So our slope in this case is 0. So Now we're going to find our y-intercept. So we know that y equals 0x plus b. And so we could use the first coordinate. So 5 equals 0 times 3 plus b. And remember, guys, that this could have just been 0. I could have left it out completely. And then we just get 5 is equal to b because 0 times 3 is 0. So our y-intercept in this case is 5. So we have y equals, I don't need to write 0x because it's just 0. So y just equals 5 because that's my y-intercept. 
And in this type of linear equation, we'll have um, a horizontal line because our y, I mean, our slope is not increasing at all, but we are going over one each time. Final example here, we're going to do the same thing. First thing we're going to do is label our coordinates. So x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, and y sub 2. And we're going to take our y sub 2, y sub 1, and subtract. So 8 minus 2 divided by negative 4 minus negative 4. So 8 minus 2 is 6. Negative 4 minus negative 4 is the same thing as negative 4 plus 4. So we have 6 divided by 0, which is undefined. So our slope here is undefined. And when, when we do have an undefined slope, we know that it's just x is equal to negative 4. Because x will always be negative 4, we'll have a vertical line and it does not move over to the right or to the left at all. And that's it.